Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Stonewall Penitentiary and it's a brand new story driven game on Steam and we are definitely going to play it. Um, all I really read when I... I was dreaming oh. again. Ooh. The dream. The one with Jason. Uh oh. An array of colorful lights lit the room. That's the very... The sense of cinnamon and clove permeated my senses. For one brief moment... I was home. Then I heard running in the distance. A disruption. I felt the wind of the basketball as it flew past my face. Heard the loud crash as it struck down the nearby canvas. My masterpiece. Damn it, Jason! I spat. How many times have I told you not to play with that ball in the house? I'm sorry, Dad. The boy was petrified. But I didn't care. I don't want to hear it. I'm done with you. Go to your goddamn room. Now! I came to regret those words. Far too late. The <laughs> wetness streamed down the boy's flushed cheeks. He scurried away then and slammed the bedroom door behind him. Good riddance, I thought. I went over to assess the damage. Not as bad as I'd feared. And so... Despite Jason's distant sobs, I returned to my work. Amidst the last embers of the dying fire, I listened, knowing it would not take long for Jason's cries to fade away. Well, and then, blissful silence. Well, that's a de depressing intro. Oh, he's, there's no more voiceover. I'm supposed to read this. The figure trudged through the Virginian snowstorm with the depression, with determination, carrying a weight that served only to fuel a morbid need to carry out the ritual once more. Okay, uh, click. There you go. It was possible to park the van closer, of course, but that could lead to complications. This was not the first time the figure had followed this path, nor would it be the last. Okay. The figure's back was starting to ache. Not a surprise, considering the bulk of the load. Grab a screeny of that. It's quite pretty, the game. It's like all uh, comic booky. While the snow could have proved ha hazardous, the figure was resilient. Weather would not prevent what was to come. This victim had, pro victim had proven easier to capture than the others. He hadn't even put up a fight. This also was no surprise, however, given everything he had lost. Okay... The question remained, however, would this man and the others confess their sins? Only time would tell. Weird. After several more strenuous minutes, the figure finally reached the destination, Stonewall Penitentiary, in all its glory. Up the front steps they went. With the twist of a wrist, the figure dropped open, propped open the door, God, I'm terrible at reading tonight, um, and carried the unconscious man inside. His trial was about to begin. Okay. 30 minutes later. Wow. 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 I awoke with a start, inhaled the pungent odor of rot, and felt the cold sting of rough concrete on my bare back. Nice. Oh, my head hurt. What happened? I don't know, man. What happened? I looked down and gasped. I was naked tied up and left to rot on the floor of some dank cell. I wished I were dreaming, but my pounding skull told me otherwise. When he said dank cell there, it sounded like dank Despite cell, nausea, like that. I weakly sat up. The room spun as though I had just emerged from heavy anesthesia. Where the hell was I? And more importantly, how was I going to get out? Cool. It's not a bad premise, not a bad setup. We've got some good music and acting After and stuff. a moment, I cautiously rose to my feet to better examine my surroundings. Okay. I was trapped inside a... Spider webs littered the ceiling. Oh, whoops. And thick layers of dirt and grime told me that the place hadn't been occupied in some time. Okay. My movements must have garnered some attention, because a feminine voice suddenly spoke from behind the right cell wall. You 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I'm awake. My hands are tied, though. Where are you? I, I can't see you. I'm locked in the cell next to you. You'll need to find something sharp to cut the rope so you can free your hands. There must be something nearby that you can use. See if you can cut yourself free. So, I'm really liking the the tone that the game's setting. You know, I like the the art's kind of cool and the grainy effects and things are, you know, it's all aesthetic. Um, but I think that the and it, it happened in the dream as well. I feel like the voice acting bench is not very deep, and that you might have one or two people doing the voice acting because it sounded like the little boy was just someone speaking in a high pitched voice and maybe with a filter over it. And then that, the girl's voice, the feminine voice, I guess, sounds like a boy's voice put through a filter as well. But I could be wrong. It just, uh, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, let's view the tutorial. Welcome to the Stonewall Penitentiary. This short tutorial will provide you with an overview of the game's interface. While this window is open, click anywhere on screen to continue. To interact with the game world, simply click on an object in the world and then select one of the commands that pop up alongside it. The map window provides an overhead layout of all the scenes you have already visited. To open it, press M or click on cell A2. Located, okay. The character window shows your party, current objective, progress, and score. To open it, press C or click on your character portrait. Throughout your journey, you will receive journal entries, which often contain important clues that will assist you. Okay. Um, press J, got it. Change settings, okay, got it. When you exit the game, your progress will be saved automatically. That's all to start, but don't worry, more help will pop up soon to guide you through the game's introduction. Why don't I look around the cell? Okay. Uh. The cell door was firmly locked. There was no way I was getting out of here without the key. Okay, we got this flashing thing. I wanna click on the flashing thing, I guess. My thoughts. Oh, where am I? How did I get here? I have no idea where the hell I, I am. I woke up in a locked cell, a dark, dank cell that smells of must and sewage. I have no memory of how I got here. I need to focus and find a way out. Maybe I deserve to rot in here. The dream. Even after all this time, I'm still plagued by Jason. That recurring dream. That same recurring dream. No nightmare. The regret. The guilt. Yes, I am self-censoring. Too bad. Um, if you want to listen to YouTubers swear... Go find any other YouTuber, and they're probably swearing. I generally don't, so. Um, it's all encompassing, maddening. That damn nightmare feels so real, so vivid, like part of my consciousness is still in that living hell. Will it ever get better? Only with another drink. Okay, so he's a, he drinks a bit. Let's look at it. A small index card sat upon the cell's table. Something was written on it. Okay, I guess let's take it. I should find a way to free my arms first. Oh, right. Okay. A green lantern shone brightly and provided the only visible light in the cell. Oh, there's some marks on the wall. Can I look at those? Yeah. Someone etched several marks into the stone wall, likely counting his years of incarceration. Likely. I agree. Bed. I thoroughly searched the bed. Not easy, given that my wrists were tied. Okay. What did we find? On the floor underneath the bed's frame was a dirty penny, dated 1922. Okay. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even bother with it. But given my present condition, I picked up the old penny with my clenched knuckles. All right. To view the inventory, okay. Can be used in the game world. Click on an item to equip it, then click somewhere on the screen to use it. Taking the coin also awarded you with two points. You can view your overall score. Okay. You will see your final score compared to the maximum po possible number of points. Try to get as many points as you can by looking everywhere and examining everything. Okay, got it. Um, let's turn around. Okay. The rusted sink was dry, as though it hadn't been turned on in years. Okay. The faucet knob turned, but no water emerged. Oh, I've got a penny still in my hand. I'm ready. A scratched metal grate cover was secured to the wall by four screws. Cool. Let's open it. 
I tried to unscrew the grid cover by hand, but the screws were too tight. Right. So what if I use... With yes! I loosened and removed three of the great cover's four screws. I'm so smart! The cover fell open. Behind it were a set of metal bars, one of which was broken with a sharp edge. Nice! Alright, well let's... Let's do it. I dropped to my knees and positioned the rope binding my hands so that it pressed upon the sharp edge of the broken metal bar. I then began to shift my arms back and forth vigorously so that the rope rubbed against the jagged edge. Cool. The rope snapped within seconds, and my arms were freed. Noise! I am so smart. Okay, I'm free. I am. Good. Now, see if there's a key somewhere nearby. I found a key in my cell, but it won't open my cell door. Maybe you'll have better luck. Right. Well, let's start, uh, doing stuff to things. Inside the grate were a set of metal bars. One of which oh, right. I already read that. Sweet. Oh, we can skip it. I like that we can skip it. Look at. The old toilet was covered in dirt. While the water inside the bowl was brown from age, it was mercifully clear of excrement. Mercifully cl cl clear of excrement. That's what I feel like when I write, uh... It still flushes. That's a really That's what I feel like every time I, um buy a game on Steam and it actually works and is of kind of fun. Sat on the wobbly shelf. That it's mercifully clear of excrement. Um, oh, we've got, what is that? Oh, we've got some rope. Okay. Um, let's look at... No, what am I doing? A journal. That's what I wanted. But what frightens me most is that not having a bottle with me. I haven't been this sober for a long while and that scares the shit out of me. I'll say that word. That's fine. The memories and the pain will flood in like... They like to use the F word, don't they? Uh, levy breaking if I don't keep my mind numbed. Call it cowardly, call it weak. Christine sure did, but I call it survival. God, my life is a waste. Right, okay, so we're good. A worn, stain-filled mattress sat on the rusted bed frame. Okay, let's look at this thing. A full roll of toilet paper sat on the wobbly shelf. All right. Anything else to interact with? Bed, toilet. Well, let's turn around, I guess. Ooh, let's take the index card now. Good evening, William. We've never be met before, but I know all about you. Find some clothes and greet your new friends in the cafeteria. They're very eager to meet you. William, all about cafeteria, very eager. Okay, well, none of that... No. Yeah, I mean, there's probably something there. You just received a new journal entry. Yep. Read the new entries. I got it. Oh, uh, is there a note inside your cell? Yep. You too? Yeah, man. It says to meet some new friends in the cafeteria. Mine too. Too bad we can't get out of here, huh? Right. Oh, except for mine. I have a key. Let's read that index card. Oh, no. Let's go back to my thoughts. Oh, no. Okay. So, we've already got that. We found the key. Nice. I found a small key. Try it on the cell door. Okay. Noise. Uh, it's not working. It Must not be the right key. Of that. Where are you? My name's Jessica, by the way. Jessica Bartlett. But all my friends call me Jesse, so you can too. Okay, Jesse. William Thane. Do you remember how you got here, Jesse? I'm afraid not. I was driving home from work around 10. The next thing I remember is waking up here. Okay. The last thing I remember is going to bed. Hey, maybe you'll be lucky and this will all turn out to be one big nightmare. That would be cool. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, can I ask you an odd question? Do you have any clothes on? I do not. No. Another little memory I'm missing. 
Last I remember, I was fully clothed. Yeah, me too. Weird. What should I ask next? Where do you work? How long even have you seen anyone? Has anyone walked by your cell? Or did you hear anyone else? No, but I wouldn't have known you were there either if it weren't for your snoring. Right. Do you know how long you've been here? I've been awake about 15 minutes. Who knows how long I was here before that. I tried to wake you, by the way. I called out, but you just kept on snoring. Right. You were mumbling in your sleep, too. Were you dreaming? Yeah, man. When you must make an important decision, stars will appear around the choices window. Uh, tell her. I thought of Jason and heard my own harsh words echo through my head. Yes, about my son. Oh, so I take it you're married? Uh, not anymore. Yeah, man, not anymore. Where do you work, Jesse? The Busy Mart, one of those crappy 24-hour convenience stores. You? Oh, I'm... I'm currently unemployed. Okay. There must be a way out of here. Yeah, man, there must be. Otherwise, this would be a very boring story. As good as mine. Right, so I got more journal entries. Um, she sounds afraid when she talks, her voice quivers. She's trying to appear cool and collected, but she's terrified. If I can't drown away the pain, maybe I can at least help her. Now if I could only find the right key. Right. Okay. Um. Yes. I have an idea, Jesse. Let's swap keys. I tied my key to the piece of rope that bound my hands. I'll hold on to the rope and throw the key to you. If you don't catch it, I can pull the key back and try again. Yeah, man. Great idea, Will. I'll do the same. Nice. To perform a timed action, when one occurs, a horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen will- Oh! Quick time events! Yes. Gotcha. Jesse followed suit and threw me the key she'd found in her own cell. I caught it on the second try. Oh yeah, I did. Let's hope this works. What do I? Oh, now I have the right key. <sighs> Nicely work. done, team. Nicely done. Here too. Yeah, we are. Let's go. I should take the lantern with me before leaving the cell. Oh, uh, fine. Travel to new location. Right, I already did that. All right, so the lantern. The cell turned around and found myself inside a long, narrow hall that led in several directions, including south to the cafeteria. I quickly spotted Jesse sitting nervously in another cell to the northwest. Yep, I can see her there. Okay. Make sure to fully explore every new location that becomes available. I've just received um received my first achievement, completing certain actions on lots of achievements. Okay. You will be rewarded with a special bonus scene that takes place after the end of the game, which can be found in the extras page. Cool. Um, no. Let's go to cell A1. It's Jesse! Lantern, toilet. A dirty toilet was mounted. Okay, I got that. What's up, Jesse? Just enough without me. Right. Shouldn't stare at people, I guess. Aren't you coming? Um, I think I'll just wait here until you manage to find some clothes. Oh, right. 
I forgot that I was naked. <laughs> uh, it looked right. Okay, so we both have. Oh, pillow. A thin stain. Okay. Bed. This bunk bed was just like the one. All right, so everything's the same. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. Okay. Is this my cell? This is my cell. Right. Let's go back outside. The upper block. Let's look at it. An old-fashioned telephone sat at the edge of the desk. Hmm. I picked up the phone. No dial tone. Of course. Of course. The logbook contained a list of guards that were stationed inside the cell block at any given date and time. Okay. Right. John Haver, Adam Bentley, something. Harvey Chalice, who likes to write in all caps. Harold Johnson, something there. Why is this page different? Is that sign out? Oh, 1017. There we go. Oh. It may contain important information. Like what? Briar Coffin. Kaufman. Mm, okay, I don't have enough context to figure out what um, it could be talking about the faded photo of a young woman still sat inside a picture frame on the desk i wonder whose this was i also wonder an odd symbol was spray painted here oh it looked fresh okay i got it already yet yeah. same thing okay several rundown lock Got it, yep. Let's look at it. The locker wouldn't open due to the combination padlock on its handle. Okay. A piece of masking tape was stuck onto the front of the locker. On it, written in black sharpie, was the letter J. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's go back. J. Anybody with J? Harold Johnson? 186. Maybe maybe I've solved the solved a clue. Let's try it. Uh-huh. That didn't work. Maybe it's this way. Nope. Okay. Let's go back. It's a J. The security camera was pointed right at me. That is weird. Okay. I wondered whether this old speaker was used for general announcements or to sound an alarm. I don't know, man. Did I miss something in here? That is a one. Ah, oh, 186 was not here. I'll jump. 215. Oh my god. Oh my god. 215. Come on. Yes! The combination worked. I removed the padlock and opened the locker. I am reasonably smart. Keep a close eye on your environment. Okay. Make sure to examine it. I did! Look at! Inside the locker were a pair of prison garments and two walkie-talkies. Nice! Just enough for us. These clothes were a welcome sight. I placed the lantern on the guard's desk and quickly got dressed. 
Nice. These prison garbs weren't exactly the latest fashion, but they fit well enough. Uh huh. After tightening the pants as best I could, I grabbed the walkie-talkie and picked up the lantern. Nice. We're dude. We're puzzling our way through this. Love it. To allow you to communicate with other prisoners, please note that the walkie-talkie will work automatically at certain times and cannot be used manually. Okay, that's a good note. Like it. Gotta make so that's a diamond and like a sideways H. Got it. Let's go give her some clothes. There you go, man. Have some clothes. Jesse, I. Can you go find me some clothes, Will? I'm not comfortable talking to oh, you right. like this. Oh, right. Sure. I mean, I like wearing clothes. Maybe you would as well. Here you go. Well, they're not exactly in style, but I found us some clothes. Always harping on about the style, man. Those will do. Thanks. Nice. Jesse opened the door to her cell, and I handed her the clothes. I waited outside as she dressed. When she was done, Jesse grabbed the lantern from the floor and exited the cell. Awesome. I handed Jesse the spare walkie-talkie. So she's like on my team now. Here, I found a pair of these too. You never know when we might need them. Right. Jesse nodded and took the device. She totally nodded. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do the clothes fit? Well enough, I suppose. Listen, thanks for helping me get out of the cell. You're welcome. Ha! Uh, gotta say it now, right? Of course, Jesse. We're in this together after all. Are we though? I feel the same way, Will. Are we? So, I guess we should find the cafeteria, huh? Lead the way. Okay. Oh. She will now follow you, follow as you travel from scene to scene. Your journey has only begun, but you know now know enough to proceed without guidance. This is the end of the tutorial. Good luck and have fun. Oh no, I want to go back and do her cell. I saw a thing there. Let's look at it. A ward. Yep, got it. I picked up the notebook and flipped through its pages. I totally did, I guess. Can we hurry up, Will? I want to get out of here. Man, I'm looking at your stuff. An old movie poster was taped at the wall. I'd never heard of the film. Okay. I wonder what the movie was about. I don't know. The table was bare. Bare table. Jesse must have found some other way to cut her ropes. Yeah. Some other way. The wooden stool was surprisingly sturdy. Okay. There's no way to just turn around though. Let's look at the um Okay, so it does it keeps track of it for us. Good. Well, somehow it worked. I got myself and Jesse free from our cells and I found us some clothes. But now what? I have no clue. I'm a failed artist after all. Not exactly reeking of ingenuity, but I've done okay so far. So I guess that's something. Hey, that, I guess that is something. Jessie seems sweet, but she's definitely guarded, like she's holding something back. Heh, who the hell isn't, though? She could just be a private person. Either way, she seems to be somewhat trustworthy. Never a bad thing to be cautious. Okay. Nope, there was one more thing. July, I am sane. I really am. I don't belong here. I may have done a few crimes, but I never hurt nobody on purpose. I really don't know how I ended up in here, but it was a mistake. A big one. At least I got a good luck. Got the good luck in finding a pin in this notepad in the calf, even if there are only a few pages left in it. Maybe somebody up there likes me. The guy in the next cell keeps freaking out when the lights flash around here, which happens a lot. Guards taunt him, and sometimes he cries. Last night I heard him whispering to himself. It was light and it was dark, and I swear I heard two different voices, but he had to be talking to himself. Everyone else, yeah. Guy across from me asked me to, asked to be moved, begged, actually told me he's sick of the guy next to me and his crap. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I'm running out of paper, and this pen won't last forever, but I'm glad I can at least write this much down. The guy across from me keeps saying that crazy things are happening here. Experiments with prisoners, severe beatings, threats, strange brain stuff that I don't want to even think about. And treatments! Whatever the hell those are, I've heard the screams late at night. Sounds like it come, it's coming from the bowels of the prison. So maybe, maybe he's right. He cried a lot, cried like he was banging his head against the wall. I need to get out of here. The guy across from me is gone. I don't know where, but I don't think he transferred. 
Okay, so he got killed. I had a weird dream last night of being strapped to a table and being in much pain. It seemed like there were lights flashing in my head. I woke up sore today and can't remember what day it is. I guess it don't really matter, but my head sure hurts. Why does my head hurt? The hammer's almost gone. I've used almost every scrap of it. I don't know, but then my hands shake so bad. Now it's hard to write anyway. My brain seems muddled and fuzzy. Like I can't think anymore. And where is housekeeping? I can't get them to come clean my room. Or bring me room service no matter how long I shout, bang on the door. And where is my valet? I keep telling him to bring my car around in the deck. I can barely see and my head is pounding. I don't think I can. Cool. That's not disturbing at all. Alright, I think we have explored this room pretty thoroughly. Good job, team. We are unbelievable. Um... Let's go up to the upper block. Let's look in cell B2. Ooh, there's another journal. Most of the journal was blank, and several pages. Ooh, only a few things remained? Ooh, what's that one? If I had to guess, I'd say the occupant of this cell was a weightlifter. Nice. Good guess, man. The occupant of this cell liked to collect travel brochures. So it was a weightlifter. Weightlifting Traveler. What have we got here? A photograph of a young woman. Written on it were the words, With love, Michelle. Okay. This may have been the man's only memory of his lover. How sad. I suppose that is sad. I wondered what caused the stain, but decided I'd rather not know. Mm, uh, I don't want to be in here. Can we go? Hey, man. Why are you so antsy about rolling out? The old toilet was covered in dirt. I'd rather not say what was inside the bowl. Harden up, man. Ugh. Let's look at the bloody mirror. Bloody handprint on the mirror gave me chills. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I don't want to be in here. Can we go? That's really annoying. I'm exploring, dude. Rusted sink. Yep. Nope. Okay. There was no way that toilet would. Right, but we don't know what was inside it. It won't tell me. Can we look at the bed? No. Um, I think we got everything. Okay, let's go out, I guess. Let's go in here. Oh, disturbing. Disturbing. The words help me were repeatedly scratched into the wall. Somehow, I get the impression that no one ever did. Hmm. Well, let's look at the blood stains. That was one big blood stain. Something terrible happened here. Probably. I don't want to be. Oh, God. Stop saying that. If I were sent to prison. I'd line the cell walls with any stickers I could find, too. Well, I mean, you just escaped. Oh, there's a DVD planet. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, there's a cobweb. I could never sleep with a cobweb above my head. I'd worry all night about a spider crawling onto me. Yeah, that is... concerning, I guess. The bed was flipped on its side, and a large blood stain covered the mattress. Yep, we saw that. Was there anything else? Did I miss anything? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I can... I'm being dumb. There's stuff to explore in this location. The security camera was... Why is it watching us? I don't know, man. Why is it watching us? I wondered what the... Right. Someone was a baseball fan. Why can't I get down there to that cell? Hmm. B2. It said P-U-K. I still have no idea what that means. Okay. Alright, so now we've explored. Let's go down. Uh... Oh, there's the cafeteria here. Let's go look at the guard station first. 
Oh, we've been here. Oh, there was a window that I didn't look I at. I wondered what it would be like if these windows were my only view of the outside world. It wasn't a pleasant thought. It was too dark in the hallway to wander around. The note... All right. We're going the wrong... I'm trying to... I'm trying to jump the gun, I guess. Let's go to the cafeteria. And meet these people. Jesse and I stepped inside the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. And found ourselves standing before four men. Oh, okay. Ah, and the last guests in our little melodrama finally arrived. Ha ha ha. Cool. Please, step forward. We walked to the center of the room, and the others turned to face us. Okay. Weird. Looks like I'm the only woman. Figures. Were you all... Locked themselves to? Yes. We all got notes telling us to meet here. We wanted to wake you, but you were both out cold. We knew each of you had to be awake to get the other out by swapping keys, so we figured it'd be best to wait for you here. How did you know that? Buff My man. My name is Grayson Wilford. This is Gerard Oberon. Sonny Payton and Lewis? Lewis Algar? Movie star? Don't tell me you haven't heard of me. I haven't Sorry. heard of you. I'm afraid not. <laughs> what do you know? I'm William Fane, but you can all call me Will. Jesse Bartlett, nice to meet you all. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, now that we're all acquainted, does anyone have the slightest idea how we're going to get out of this place? I don't know, man. Well, I suppose we should start by... Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad <laughs> you make it. Yes. By now you're probably all wondering why you're here. Well, that's because the six of you share a common trait. Fear. Fear. Fear of accepting responsibility for something that has happened to each of you in your past. Something that has been troubling you all for some time. Okay. You see, each of you has caused the death of another. Yet none of you has had the courage or decency to accept responsibility for that death. This prison is where you all belong. But somehow, you have all managed to escape justice for your crimes. <laughs> justice. That is a word that is not used nearly enough in our world. But it is something that I know quite well. Something that the six of you will learn before the night is over. But I'm nothing if not a decent person. So here is the situation. It is now midnight. The six of you have until 6 a.m. to find a way out of this prison. To get out, you must each come to terms with and accept responsibility for your offenses. If you manage to do this, then you will be free to go. As with all things, however, there is a catch. For every hour it takes you to complete this task, one of you will die as penance for your collective crime. It is only just. So my question to you now is, will you face your fear? You have six hours. That, that was a joke, right? If it was, it wasn't funny. Agreed. I don't know about the rest of you, but I haven't killed anybody. All right, let's just calm down. Joke or not, we need to find a way out of here. Hey, who made you the boss? The guy's just trying to help us get out of here, man. Leave him alone. Does anyone remember how they got here? Not a damn thing. Today was my day off from work. I visited my sister at the theater and headed home. I'm a 
must have fallen asleep in front of the TV or something. At least I think I did. The last thing I remember was leaving my office. I'm a businessman. Okay. I don't even remember getting to my car. That was some time ago. I left work at nine. Right. I was on my way home from work too at the Busy Mart around 10. The last thing I remember was I, I was working on my computer. I'm a web designer. <laughs> Bird. I was just putting the finishing touches on a client's new website when I woke up here. I was already in bed. I clearly remember lying down. Someone must have taken me in my sleep. Yeah, they must have. <laughs> Lewis, would you care to share your story? What story? There's nothing to tell. One minute I'm in my trailer, getting ready for a night shift. The next I'm here with all of you. What are we waiting for? Let's make our way to the exit and get the hell out of here. It's pretty dark in here, though. And I'll bet our captain made sure that most, if not all, of the exits are sealed. Let's split up. One group should go to the basement and find some way to turn on the lights. The rest of us will try to find a way out. Fair enough, I guess. What makes you so sure the lights will even work? There must still be power going through this place, or the television and security cameras would not function. I'm staying with Will. I think I'd rather stay here where it's safe. You heard what that message said. We can't stay here. It's not safe. True. Who knows what's out there? Hey guys, hello. I'll stay here with the kid. Make sure he's all right. The rest of you go on ahead. Thanks, man. How noble of you. Like you're doing this for the kid. You just want to save your own ass. Not a kid. Um, ah, uh, diffuse that. Uh, that's the wrong diffuse. I think. Diffuse. See now, seeing it like that makes me. I I think that's wrong. I could be wrong though, because you know how sometimes when you're like, that's wrong, and then you look at it and you're like, but maybe it's not. I'm pretty sure it's D E F U S E diffuse. But. We're gonna go volunteer to help. It's fine. Jesse and I will go turn on the lights. Grayson, you and Gerard can go find a way out. Lewis and Sonny, you stay here. Be back in 15 minutes. Sounds like a plan to me. Nice. Very well. Meet back here in 15 minutes, but no later than that. In the meantime, if something comes up, we can all keep in touch. We do, because we're super smart. Jesse and I found some, yes. Okay then, let's go. With a nod, Grayson and Gerard picked up two lanterns and exited the cafeteria. Nice. See you all soon. If you don't all get yourselves killed. All right, well, um, that's 45 minutes. Let's go look at the description. Stonewall Penitentiary, seven suspects, one killer. Stonewall Penitentiary is an indie murder mystery adventure that is presented in the visual style of graphic novels. Discover why you and six others were kidnapped by an unknown captor as you search an eerie prison and solve mind-bending puzzles to determine who done it. Uh, developed by Story Centric Worlds, published by Unimatrix Productions. Okay. Um, it's an indie murder... Oh, yeah, we already read that. Uh, will you survive Stonewall Penitentiary and its many mysteries, or will it be your tomb? It's a traditional 2D point-and-click first-person adventure game with a focus on exploration and narrative. Um, features beautiful graphic novel-style artwork and cinematic music. Yep, totally does. Explore an abandoned prison by navigating from room to room. Separate inventory, map, journal, and character screens are available at the push of the button. 
plays like an interactive novel. Throughout the game, you'll make choices that can affect the outcome. The game features all standard adventure game mechanics, including locations to explore, items to collect and use, characters to meet and interact with, and puzzles to solve. All without any major pixel hunting. Yeah, that's good, because I hate picture, pixel hunting. Um, yeah, we know the story. Oh, there's more people. So, these are some spoilers, because we never we haven't met Becca. Um, we did meet Jesse. We meet, met this guy. Sonny Payton and William Thane. Right. Um, explore an abandoned prison and uncover its dark secrets. Interact with many interesting fully voiced characters. Solve a multitude of challenging puzzles. Discover plenty of optional content that will test your detective skills. Um, achieve two different endings, depending on your actions or inactions. Unlock all 27 achievements to view special post-game bonus scene. Um, and a 10 plus hour story that pays tribute to Agatha Christie's and then there were none and horror thrillers like Scream and Saw. Cool. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I had a, I, I was having a really good time there, if you couldn't tell. Um, Fifteen dollars eighty-three New Zealand, so maybe like twelve dollars US. I'd say it's probably worth it, especially if it's actually ten, uh, ten hours or more. Um, let's look at the developer and see what else they've got. Um, the filmmaker, a text adventure. Shady Brook. Uh, another text adventure, um, and another text adventure. So they, this seems to be like their first, like sort of full game. Um, and what is Unimatrix Productions? I've never heard of them before. Oh, it's just their publishing company. That's fine. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. If you're looking for a, uh, if you're looking for a Telltale Games like game, but are tired of Telltale Games games then this is going to scratch that itch because it's like in that same vein, but it's, yeah, it's different. So, um, check it out on Steam. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description and, uh, uh I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and, uh, yeah, check this game out. So see you guys next time. Class dismissed.